how do I format my post content text using bold, italics, underline, and strike through features? All the stuff we expect to be able to do. Okay, well, let's actually go to this particular post. Let's say uh, this post that I just did in the last one, this Utwizi Anim, this fake post right here. Let's go find that post. And to go find all the posts that we've currently published already, we can just click on the post link right here and there it is right there this is my test post that I'd like to actually start playing around with the formatting of so let's go ahead and click edit now I showed how to do this a little bit in the last screencast I kind of skipped ahead and did some some formatting some basic formatting using uh, the this right here to indicate I wanted that to be a heading um, and so as you probably imagine this works an awful lot like any what you see is what you get editor, okay? Like Word or, or anything that you're used to using, um, this works almost the same way. In fact, what you see is what you get is often abbrevi abbreviated to WYSIWYG. So if you ever hear somebody talk about a WYSIWYG editor, they're really just talking about any editor that allows you to see you know, what it is that you're doing. So if I, for example, let's say I, I uh, highlighted that and then I used the uh, the italics uh, button right here, suddenly I see it in here and that's what it's going to look like when I publish it. So what I see is what I get. Okay, so let's apply a little bit of, um, of formatting here. Um, so I want to format this, I want to use bold. So let's say I want to bold these three words, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, that's cool. Um, I've already shown you how to use the italics button, I think you know how to do that. Strike through is a nice nice feature. Let's say that we don't want that right there. We can use the strike through feature. Okay. And uh, how about underline? Okay. Underline. Let's just underline this word. Notice it's actually down here. Now, uh, it's hard to say. Let's actually pick another word that's not. Uh, there we go. There's an underline feature right there. Um, using the underline feature, by the way, is usually discouraged simply because if for so long underline, the web convention was to make all links underlined. And if you do an underline and it's not a link, it might actually confuse people a little bit. Um, th that's becoming less and less important now, but it's still something to keep in mind. You, you know, you probably want to be very sparing in your use of underline, the underline tool on a web page. Okay, so we've applied a little bit of, of formatting there. Let's go ahead and click update and see what this looks like. Do, do, do. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and view this post now. And here it is. Okay, so we see how bold got applied, italics, let's scroll down. There's a couple underlying examples, but they're not links. Okay, we'll, we'll learn how to do that next. And here's the example of the strike through. Okay, um, one thing I want to go, let's go back to the edit post page here. I want to point something out. Okay, you'll see that there are a bunch of other tools here. Okay, there's also a block quote tool, which is really nice. So let's say I want to Let's go down here. Here's a good example. Okay, let's say I wanted this to be a block quote. Okay, I could do that. And that creates this, this block quote where everything gets pulled out. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. Um, next ones here, we have these alignment tools. Okay, you've probably seen these before. This is how you would center things, you know, and up right align, left align. Um, I strongly recommend that you never, ever, ever use these alignment tools. And the reason for that is we'll learn in a few screencasts, we'll learn how to change the theme of our website. And the thing about themes is that not all themes recognize the use of these tools. Okay, so there are other better ways to align your text. Um, so it's re if it's really important that something be centered or right aligned or left aligned or something like that, um, then there are other ways. Wait until you learn how to do that using those other ways, okay? Because you might, you know, try to format all your text and use these alignment buttons. And then when you switch to a different theme, which you're almost guaranteed to do, um, you're going to find your site or your content looks really, really weird. It's not the way you intended it to look. And so to save yourself from that trouble, just avoid the use of these altogether. Okay, and I'll show you how to properly uh, center things at a later point in time. So let's go ahead and click update. Do, 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 here we go. Okay, and let's view post. This time, rather than just clicking on the view post link, I'm going to actually right click and open this in a new tab. And we'll close that. And this is nice, just so I can go back and forth between these two. 
and this is what my pull quote looks like. Okay, the block quote. That's nice. Let's say you had a bunch of text that you wanted to 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 quote. Let's say you're quoting from another website, or or say a review. Okay, you've got you've got this awesome review in this music magazine, and you wanted to quote parts of it. You might want to use the block quote uh, feature. So there we go. Bold, italic, strike through. Oh yeah. Lists. We'll come back and do the lists in a second. Okay, uh, so you've learned all about how to do that stuff. Uh, next screencast, I'll show you how to go ahead and do those lists. But until then, I will catch you later.